welcome to a crafting tutorial with Young at Art. My name is Miss Alexis and today we're going to be doing a quick craft. We're going to be making clothespin magnets. We're going to paint these clothespins and put a magnet on the back so that you can use them on your refrigerator, in your locker. You can put notes or pictures in in the little clamp, whatever you want. They're super versatile. You can make them look however you want and they're gonna be really, really fun. In your kit, you are going to have three clothespins. You're gonna have three magnet strips with a self-adhesive back and we will get to those at the very end. You're gonna have five colors of paint, black and white, red, blue, and yellow. You have little pots of paint. Um, uh, I have them on a palette. <laughs> You're gonna have a small paintbrush. You're gonna have a piece of wax paper for mixing your paints. And then you're gonna need a cup of water and a napkin to clean your paintbrush in between. Um, just a quick reminder before we get started, if at any point you need to pause or rewind, don't forget that that is available to you um, so that, you know, if I get ahead of you, that's okay. Just put me on pause. Alrighty. Um, a couple of things really quick about our materials today. We're going to be painting with acrylic paints. Um, they're really great for this project because they're super mixable. They're going to blend really easy together and make nice vibrant colors for us. But you want to make sure that while you're painting with your acrylic paints that you roll up your sleeves if you're wearing long sleeves um, because acrylic paints are not going to come off your clothes. Um, certainly not very easily. So make sure that you um, roll up your sleeves uh, or if you're wearing like your favorite jacket or something, make sure that you take that off and hang it on the back of your seat or wherever else you would hang your jacket. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to move our example guy up here. Okay, so I'm just going to grab one of my um, clothespins and you can look at both sides and kind of decide which side you want to paint. If you look at this one, you can see one side's a little busted up and the other side's a little bit more smooth. So I'm going to go with the side that is more smooth to start. And I think for this guy, I'm going to do some stripes. I like stripes. I'm going to do stripes. So I am going to take a little bit of white paint on my palette, you're gonna use wax paper. I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow paint and I'm gonna make a light yellow because that is my one of my favorite colors, a very light yellow. Once I have a nice amount of it, and make sure when you're mixing it that you have enough to cover your space that you wanna use. So I'm, I'm gonna cover the whole, um, excuse me, the whole front of my, um, clothespin. Boy, I couldn't think of what that was called. Um, and so I've got quite a bit of paint here. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started. Now you can decide which way you want to go up or down, up and down, or kind of left to right here. Um, but just pick one direction and you're going to just cover your whole clothespin top. Now it's up to you if you want to paint the metal part. I'm going to because I like the uniformity of it looking yellow. I'm also going to just twist my um, clothespin to the side. And I am going to also paint the sides. And I'm going to just paint both sides here. And for this part, I am going to skip on the sides, painting the metal bit. Whoops, wipe that off a little bit. Super easy. Something you'll notice as you're painting with these paints on the wood and um, on the wood is that it kind of sucks up the paint a little bit. So you might need to do, a, have a little bit more paint on your brush than you normally would. So we've painted one side and I've painted the top. I am going to skip painting the bottom. I'm not gonna paint the bottom because then I'm gonna have a hard time getting my um, adhesive to stick on my magnet. So I'm not gonna paint the bottom of my clothespin. And I'm just gonna come in here and kind of cover the whole thing with this nice sunny yellow color. 
And again, you don't have to do what I'm doing. You can do whatever, oopsie, color combination you want. And you don't have to do stripes. You could, um, you, you know, you can do whatever you want. This is super, super, uh, you know, stylized. You can choose your own style. Okay, so I've painted the two sides and the top this nice summery yellow. I'm going to just put that down on my workspace and I'm going to clean my brush and just dry it off. Make sure I get all the yellow paint off of my brush. Alrighty. So um, the other thing that's nice about acrylic paints that you're going to notice right away is, oop, I got paint all over my hands, <laughs> is that uh, this is basically dry. It sucks up the paint. It's super close to being dry. So I can go in and start painting other colors on top. Um, so I am going to do, I'm going to make a gray because yellow and gray I like. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of white. You can see I already made some gray over here. I'm going to make some more. And a little bit of black. And I'm just going to mix it until it's a gray that I like. I think I want it a little bit lighter than that. A little bit more. There we go. And I want to make sure I have a little bit of water on my brush when I'm painting um, so that my paint goes on nice and smooth. So I've got my gray paint on my brush here and I'm just going to start painting some stripes. Now you can do kind of, you know, even stripes. I'm going to kind of do like a varying widths of stripes. Do like a really skinny one in here. And you can just kind of, this is like a choose your own adventure. Choose your own style. Do a really thick one. Oh, you know what might be cool? Is if I paint that back to silver. So now that looks like one of the stripes. Oh, amazing. I really like these um, little clothespins in lockers. I know you're probably not using lockers this year in school, but eventually I'm sure we'll be back to lockers. So these are really fun, especially if you have like a locker partner um, to like leave little notes for each other or pictures. These are really cute with pictures on them. You can even, if you are the type of person who has like um, Christmas lights, you know, decorating your room, you can kind of clip these onto the Christmas lights and um, put pictures in them for your room. So there is my first one. Nice and easy. If you feel fancy, you can come down and do the sides as well, which I think I might do here. Feeling a little fancy. And just kind of meeting up with what I've done on the top, on the sides here. And again, however you decide to paint it is totally the right choice. Your your choice is the right choice here. So whatever you like. If you hate the color yellow, don't use yellow, please. I would hate for you to hate your clothespin. If you don't want like stripes, whatever you like is how you should paint it. If you are a big fan of flames, you can do a flame one. If you like Minecraft, you can do, you know, like little blocks for Minecraft. You can do Whatever you like. You can paint it all one color. If you're just like a huge fan of the color green, mix some green and make an all green one. Shades of green, all your favorite colors of green. All your favorite shades of blue. You can do whatever you want. You can make them match. This is starting to look like a little pastel tiger, which I'm kind of into. <laughs> Okay, 
So I am done painting my gray and yellow striped clothespin. There she is in all of her glory. She's a beaut. Um, and I am going to move on to the next one. So I'm just going to put this one down here to dry. And I'm going to clean my brush. Make sure it's nice and clean. And let's do a blue one next. So I am a big fan of like a very dark blue. So I'm going to take a little bit of black paint. That was a little bit more than a little bit. That was more than I wanted. That's okay. And I'm going to take some blue paint. And I'm going to mix those together to get a dark kind of inky blue. Add a little bit more blue. And you can really um, experiment here with, you know, different color combinations. I am into this kind of dark blue. I'm going to add just a little bit of red to give it, you know, more of a purpley kind of royal blue color. And I'm into that. Okay, so this is the color I have made. Up there, you can see it. And I'm going to start painting my clothespin. Um, I find that if you go in a kind of up and down pattern, that that is a little more um, like smooth on the clothespin. It makes it look a little more finished. It just gives it a nice kind of, you know, even look. That's what I was going for, the word even. So I've got my dark blue here on the top and I'm going to go ahead and do the sides as well but remember we are skipping painting the bottom because we want to make sure that our um, adhesive magnet doesn't have anything interfering with that stickery part okay if you are nervous about getting your hands wet with paint while you are painting. You just hold on to that metal spring and you'll have a little bit of an easier time keeping your hands clean. And I'm just gonna kind of go down in there, make sure I get that little spot. And I'm gonna flip it over and do this side. Painting clothespins is really nice because they're all like super smooth and it's kind of like a really satisfying feeling to just do like one swipe of color and it's pretty much done. It's really nice. It's a nice medium to work on. I guess it's more of a canvas. And then I'm going to hit the backs here and I'm going to get that pinchy front. There we go. All right, so I've got my dark blue here. I'm gonna clean my brush. And I think I'm gonna make, maybe I'll make like a little bit of a galaxy on this. So to do that, woo. okay, make sure my brush is nice and clean. I always test my brush on the back of my hand to see if it's clean. You don't have to do that. Um, but I just like to, I, that's how I like to do it because I'm a monster. Um, all right, so I've got my dark blue. This is gonna be kind of my background of the galaxy. I'm gonna take some white paint. I'm gonna offload it on my wax paper. I'm using a palette you of wax paper to make sure I don't have a lot of white paint. I just want a little bit. And then super duper lightly, I'm just gonna start barely touching my, can my canvas. This is, yeah, this is a canvas. My clothespin canvas. <laughs> to add some like nebulas. Nebulas, is that what they're called? I should be better at space. To add that galaxy bit. Oopsie. Just little, and I'm just like kind of tapping it on there. You can see I'm just boop, 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 like that. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm just gonna kind of do them in a few spaces, put a little bit of speckles here, kind of looks like stars. Okay, from there I'm going to get some of this blue without any um, black in it, nice bright blue, and I'm going to add some of that. Kind of overlap what I've done here. Okay, 
Okay. I'm not going to clean my brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of red paint and a little bit of white paint and make kind of a pinky color. And I still have some blue on my brush, so that's going to give the pinky color a little bit of a purple tinge, more of a mauve, if you will. <laughs> and I'm going to add just a little bit of that. And I've got a little bit too much paint on my brush, so I'm just going to press really lightly. And then I'm going to clean my brush. I've got kind of a this situation now. See if you can see that this way. And I'm going to come back in with some of my dark blue and clean up some of these spaces where it feels a little too, too crazy. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to add some more layers of white, offload some of that white. Remember, we don't want a lot of paint on our brush, just a little bit at a time. And kind of mix that in there. You can even, if you're feeling brave, add a little bit of yellow. Not a lot, just a little. And then I'm going to add some stars. So I've got kind of my galaxy background here. I'm going to add some stars. I'm going to take the back end of my brush. So I've got my bristle end. I've got the back end. And I'm going to dip it in the white paint. I'm not going to, normally when I would do stars on like a big canvas, I would dip the whole back end. But this is a smaller space. I'm just going to dip kind of the corner. And then I'm going to very lightly press down to add stars. And the lighter I press, the smaller my stars will be. Oop, oop, that was a big one. That's okay. okay. There we go. There's my galaxy clothespin. All right, so that's my second one. Oh no, she fell. There she goes. And let's see, what should I do for the last one? Let's do something red. Let's do, ooh, let's do like um, flames. Let's do flames, that's fun. All right, so I'm gonna start with some red. And I'm gonna just paint the front of this red. I like painting this little section here where the um, metal is. I think it just makes it look a little more uniform. And on this one, I'm only going to paint the top clip because I have an idea for the bottom clip. Also kind of gives you an idea of, you know, some of the other things you can do. Whoopsie, I almost dropped that. Good catch me. Yeah, all right, so painting this guy red. And then when we're done painting this red, we're gonna mix some orange paint. And for this one, I'm gonna work a little bit quickly because I want my paint to kind of blend together, which is really hard Oops. Um, in this, uh, with this clothespin because the, um, the, wood really sucks up the paint so it dries super duper fast okay so i've got my um orange color that i've done here and i'm just going to start adding some stripes of orange stripes of orange and then i'm going to add yellow to my brush and do stripes of yellow and add some red to my brush and do stripes of red and kind of blend those together so that I have kind of a fiery situation here. A little more orange. And I'm gonna really concentrate the yellow part of my flames at the clip. So I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow here and let it, you know, get more red at the edge. All right, that's kind of my flames that I've got going on there. Let's do that. And then my very, oh, I forgot to do this middle part here. The clippy part needs yellow. And orange. That 
that's my fire, yellow and orange. Okay. And then I was thinking, since I've got a fire up here, this part can kind of be like my, my coals. So I'm going to paint that part black. My burning coals. <laughs> and again, I don't want to paint the bottom of, oh, there we go of my um, clothespin because that is where I'm going to put my magnet so that this turns into a magnet. If you get a little bit on there like, you know, like I did here, that's totally fine. You're, you know, it's going to still work. All right. So almost done here. Just coming around the spring. Oh, it's okay. I definitely like the contrast of the red and the black hair. I think that's pretty sweet. Okay. Great. So that one is all done. Although now that I'm looking at it again, I might want to add a little bit more yellow. <laughs> that's how it always goes. If you're looking at it and you're like, ooh, I actually need to change that, go for it. There are no rules about how much you can change your art. Just add a little more yellow here. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so I just added some more yellow. So it looks a little more fiery. All right, so I am going to make sure my brush is nice and clean. And I'm going to move back to my stripey one. And I'm going to start adding, I'm going to move this guy over here so he can dry. Um, I'm going to start adding my magnet. So I um, flip it over to the back side here. And I've got um, my little magnet strips. And on the back of the magnets is a paper that I'm just going to peel off. Whoop! I'm going to drop it first. <laughs> and then I'm just going to peel off that paper. And now it's sticky there. And I'm just going, ooh, gonna place my magnet piece right above my hinge. And then I'm just gonna press down for about a count of 10. And I'm pressing pretty firmly. I really wanna make sure that that sticky glue adhesive like bonds to my um, clip. And there we have it. Boop, boop, boop. She's ready to go on my refrigerator or my locker. And then I've got my kind of galaxy inspired one. And I'm gonna do the same thing there. Just flip it upside down. If you don't have um, fingernails like me, <laughs> you can use uh, the edge of a pencil, like the point of a pencil, or um, a friend who has fingernails <laughs> to help you peel the back off. All right place that right in there. Make sure that it doesn't overlap the edges of your clothespin. It's right in the middle and then just firmly press down for 10 or 15 seconds just making sure you're really getting a good bond there. Yep, yeah, there we go. That one's ready to go. And then last but not least, this one's still a little bit wet so I'm not going to turn it upside down yet. It's gonna peel off. Ooh, dropped it again. My goodness, those are slippery little boogers. Okay, peeling off that sticker back, and then I'm gonna place it on my right above that hinge, and then just press down firmly for about 15 seconds or 10. 10 seconds is fine. And you want to make sure that they're dry before you do that so you don't mess up your design on the front. But there you have it, guys. We've got three, well, I've got four because of my original. Um, you know, you've got three distinct, really cool DIY magnets for your parents' refrigerator or your locker or wherever you would like to stick them. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. I hope that you enjoyed this little quick craft. Um, I certainly had a good time and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Enjoy your day, guys, and uh, stay crafty.